that you host a you host an event called Crossing Oceans with Children, which benefits displaced children in LA County and Serbia and Montenegro. Share with us some more about this terrific event. Well, it's the uh, second year I've been hosting this event. It's uh, basically an interaction where people are going to have the chance to get to know my culture a little bit better. Uh, we have some live performances, some uh, dancing and music. It's going to be unusual for most of the people that are going to be there, but all the benefits are going to uh, children that are ab abandoned by their parents here in L.A. County and uh, as well as my home country. You had this event last year as well. Is this going to become an annual event for you? Yeah, it's a becoming an annual event. And then, uh, we had a lot of success last year. Uh, we launched a project uh, last year, which included a uh, laundromat, a uh, greenhouse, and a uh, cooking academy. And all, all three of them really turned out to have great success. And uh, now we're going to try to implement here in uh, LA. That's basically it. Uh, it's, the play, uh, the event is going to take place in a hidden restaurant in Santa Monica on uh, November 6th, so everybody's welcome. Uh, for more information, they can log on to my website, bodydamonics.com, and check it out. Second, and here comes Totem out of Rhode Island. Corks through it, and he's it outside the What aspect of the game do you feel you, uh, you need to improve on the most for this upcoming season? Well, definitely not only me, but I think we as a team have to improve our defensive part of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, I think last year in the finals there was something that we really, really needed to close out that mm -hmm. championship and uh, lift up the trophy, but unfortunately Boston did a better job yeah. on that side of the, on the court and pretty much prevented us from running what we wanted to do. And obviously we have a lot of talent, a lot of guys that can play multiple positions, so offensively I'm not really concerned about what we're going to do as much as uh, defensively. So we have to concentrate on that as much as we can. And the Lakers take it away, Rod Monovich! Do rotations matter to you? Do you feel more confident starting as opposed to coming off the bench? It's not really an issue with me. I've been in different situations during my career. Uh, I've been a starter, I've been coming off the bench. Uh, some years, unfortunately, haven't played a lot. But uh, that's something coaches are going to have to make a decision on. And we as players, all we can do is give our best on the court and help those coaches to make those decisions. Whatever is the best for this team, I'm going to be satisfied with it. The focus is now obviously making the finals and winning the championship. How has your mindset changed, as well as the team's? Honestly, as a player, you never have ambition just to make it to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. You always, somewhere in the back of your head, want to win a championship. And that's how your mind is set before the season. And uh, as the season progresses, obviously you realize if you have a chance or not. And, uh, last year, we were not one of the teams who were expected to be in the finals and play for a championship. But, trade that happened. You know, we lost some guys, but Paul came here and gave us a great push that we needed with uh, Andrew's absence. And you always have to at least hope that you're going to have a chance to win a championship. That's that's the first step. And as much talent as we have right now, uh, hoping is not an issue. You know, we, we have to realize in our heads, okay, this is it, and now we just have to step up and sharpen up our, our game as much as we can in order to be what we're supposed to be. Biggest plays for him. for three! And the Lakers blowing out the Nuggets here in the third quarter. The chemistry with this team was tremendous last year. Um, is this the best team chemistry you've ever been a part of? I can tell one of the best. Uh, I've been on two teams and uh, when you're winning, Everything looks much better, I can tell you that. Uh, teams that are losing, there's always something that's popping out. The agendas come out and egos and all different kinds of stuff. So winning heals all the wounds uh, when it comes to playing time and you know guys being unsatisfied. But I think we have a really good group of guys. There's a lot of young guys and a lot of guys with us great sense of humor in this team. Yeah. That helps a lot. Kobe did a great job of just following the position. Andrew Bynum!
Adam slams it. Rod Monovich found him. Get along with each other. Find time to have fun. And you even gave us a little dance tonight. What was the dance? I, I just, I just got to say that, you know, I was watching Borat too much. So I did a little Borat move. <laughs> that was a salute to Borat. Yeah. A couple of seasons ago, you did the, a Borat celebration. Uh, I think it was against the Timberwolves. Any little chance? Shimmy. Little shimmy, yeah. I think that was Borat. Any chance that's going to come back this year after you hit a crush shot? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that was just a moment of inspiration, basically. Oh, okay. And we watched the Borat movie over and over this season. <laughs> so that just came out of me, out of nowhere. Very so cool. I don't think it's going to happen again. <laughs> right here, right now. Give us your nickname. Kobe's the Mamba, Sasha's the Machine, what's Vlad? Vladdy Daddy. Vladdy Daddy. Yes. Vladdy Daddy. Okay. That's good. I think I think that's gonna catch on. I think the difference is going to Daddy from now on. What non-liquor player in the league do you fear the most? Do I fear the most? Fear the most. I don't fear anybody. That's good. Not the mentality. By two. That is all. Radmanovich, the triple. Got it. There goes the crowd. Sit up. Yeah. Yeah. Sit down in a big hurry off that one. Of course, we got that. You have that great shot. That accurate shot. Where did you pick that up? How did you develop your game? Can you give us some background on the development of Vlad Rad? Um, I can't really tell like somebody in particular work on my shot. Basically, I just watched basketball games and great basketball shooters yeah. when I was younger and tried to copy them. Basically, I would go to practice when I was young and try to do a jump shot, even though I couldn't jump and shoot at, at the time because I, I wasn't strong enough, but at least I would try. And then uh, after you do it for a you know, year or so, it starts getting to your blood and uh, you get more accurate. <laughs> when I first started playing basketball, I was a terrible shooter. I could have really? shot the ball for save life, but after a while, like I said, it was, it was really something that I was interested in. That part of the game, I tried to develop as much as I could, and that's how it all started. And then different coaches help you out. You know, there's little details sometimes that can make a big difference, and coaches there are people who are realizing that and telling you what to do in a certain moment can definitely help your shooting abilities. Here's actually a personal question of mine. Uh, if you go on YouTube, this is video that if you can cut over in Seattle, the promo video, if you want to fleece blanket. Hi Sonics fans, this is Vladimir Admanovich. If you're like me on these rainy Seattle nights, there's nothing better like curling up with a good book, Neil Diamond on a stereo, and a warm fleece blanket. What? You don't have a nice warm fleece blanket, you say? Okay. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay, any comments on that? Because fans seem to find that interesting, to say the least. There was no comment. I just did a commercial for uh, Seattle Supersonics. There was a night when they were giving out the fleece blankets. And I was asked to be the guy who was going to do it. Was, it. was it a warm fleece blanket? Was it nice? Was it good quality? It was pretty good blanket. Nice. Pretty good. Hopefully the Lakers start handing out fleece yeah. blankets soon. Yeah, we should do that. We can run another promo. There you go. Any message and message for you Laker fans out there? I just really appreciate all their support. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a really great thing to be a Laker and uh, have all these behind you when times are tough and yeah. times are good so I hope they're gonna to continue to support us as much as they did in the past and we'll try to bring a championship.